Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by PDF Element. PDF Element is the all-in-one smart PDF editor, which offers you the easiest way to create, edit, convert, annotate, and sign documents on both Windows and Mac. Convert PDFs to any of the most popular formats, such as Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, text image, etc. PDF Element is the best Acrobat alternative and it is a simple, easy editor to maximize your document productivity. So check them out, PDF Element. Links will be in the description down below. Hey guys, I device help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you my weekly follow-up on iOS 13.3.1 beta 2. In this video, I'd like to talk about the performance, the battery, any additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the software for about a week. And I also like to talk about expected release date for the next beta. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is three new changes that I've come across after using the software for about a week. The first one is in within the Apple TV app under the Apple TV subscription service, Apple TV Plus. So if you're watching a TV show and you're watching an episode and you leave halfway through, of course, you get the resume button before you watch it you get the play button and after you're done watching it you now get a play again button so a new minor change to the apple tv plus subscription service so if you watch an episode or watch a tv show and you're done watching it you can click play again that way you know that you're re-watching an episode second change i want to talk about and this one i'm not quite sure if it's entirely new let me know in the comments down below if you've seen this before but i added a few credits to the app store and underneath my avatar and my apple id i I see a new credits indicator telling me how much I have left of those credits. Now, this is the first time I see it. This could be new, but again, let me know. I'm not quite sure in the comments down below if you've seen this one before. And the third one that I want to talk about has to do with iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro models specifically. Now, if you watch me here on YouTube, you know that Apple is looking to address an issue on the iPhone 11 exclusively that prevents the iPhone from completely shutting off location services. And that is due to the new U1 chip built into the new iPhone that is preventing location services to be deactivated. So sporadically, over the past several days, Apple remotely activated a network and and wireless toggle under the system services now again this was not here this was not present on day one it was activated remotely because it just popped into the settings and if you turn this off it says here turning off location for networking and wireless may affect Bluetooth Wi-Fi and the ultra wideband performance which is the issue that Apple was looking to address with iPhone 11 and 11 Pro so if you go to your photos and you attempt to airdrop something the U1 chip activates the ultra wideband activates preventing location services from being deactivated again so you can head on over to settings and experiment with that toggle right there but Apple has added this one right now it is available for the latest iOS 13.3.1 beta 2 now when can we expect the next beta for this software well if history is an indication then apple will most likely release the next beta tomorrow now the reason i say tomorrow is because today if you're watching on the 20th is martha luther king jr day so if you're watching on january the 20th on the week of the 20th we should expect beta 3 for ios 13.3.1 so anywhere from the 21st 22nd or 23rd we would see another beta for this software hopefully and apple will continue improving on some of those issues and adding minor changes which are improvements as well now in regards to battery and performance so far so good i want to go ahead and wait for the final official release everything else is working just fine but i want to test the battery thoroughly once apple releases the software versus ios 13.3.1 versus 13.3 so stay tuned for that make sure to subscribe thank you for watching i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace